Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, working out in Dunedin, Florida. Um, nice little city out here on the West Coast, man. My boy, Clean Street Pressure Washing. My boy, Chris. This is his neck of the woods. Um, but yeah, man, this customer called me out because they saw me doing uh, the paper selling videos on YouTube and they want to get their seal. They had it installed about two months ago. So it's perfect time to get sealed, man. So, um, I appreciate all y'all support. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, it's gonna be a nice little project, man. Beautiful pavers, beautiful outdoor area. So let's go check it out. This is the pavers in the back. As you can see right now, like I always, I like to say, they don't have no personality right now. <laughs> Just kind of bland, fresh. We got some stains we gonna have to clean up. See some stains over here, a little bit of algae build up. But all oh, that's gonna clean up real good. Back here, they have some kind of stains. I'm not sure what it is, but we brought a few chemicals to get them cleaned up. See these spots right here? I thought it was stained, but this thing is not stained. They said it came from the uh the tub over here, so. I'm not sure what that is. We're gonna try to clean it up with some SH. And uh, if not, we got a couple more things we can use to uh, try to get these up. You gotta identify what you got first. So I'll, I like to clean up with SH first and then whatever's left, then I work on it. But you guys see the back area, how it looks. We're gonna be using a Deco product Silicast paper sealer. And if you guys need sealer, just let me know shoot me a message or email or something i'll send you the link to get the deco product silicast we got a uh distributor out of the jacksonville florida uh, if you're in florida you order you get it the next day if you're out of state you get it take like two days to get it so they have all the products to get you right man so we're gonna start this job by applying the sh on there and then we're gonna come back with a um, surface cleaner and clean it up let's go we got the SH down gonna let it break up all these stains and the algae and stuff like that before we start surface cleaning they had a lot of leaf stains over here all that stuff should come off it's kind of a little cool out here today man I'm in Tampa or actually in Dunedin we're gonna let this dwell for a little bit and then we'll come back and get a good surface clean and uh, work on these stains
is all cleaned up. Uh, like I was telling you guys, don't rush to go using, you know what I'm saying, like any other chemicals. Use SH first just to get everything cleaned up, whatever is left. Then you know, you know what I'm saying, you gotta move on to the next step. So uh, SH cleaned it up just fine, you know, those, st uh, those stains, we didn't know what they were. So let's go check it out. So this is the pavers, look at that. Nice and clean. The stains were over here, dripped up all the way to the end. Look, all the stains are gone. Cleaned up really good. Had some stains from the leaves that were sitting here for a long time. All disappeared. Had a, had a few stubborn stains on the border right here because that's where the water settles, so it was a lot of algae. I hit that with a pump-up sprayer and rinsed it real well and uh, wet the plants real good too also. Um, sun is rising, so we're gonna get our sanding process done next. So I'll see you guys on that process. Okay, we're back. We got some good sun now. Um, I give it about an hour and a half when I had to have some lunch and um, let them dry pretty good right now. They're pretty much dry. I can do my sanding. I like to do the sand when it's kind of, you know what I'm saying, almost dry. You can see over here, got a little bit slight moisture, but it's not nothing crazy. So with the sanding, the dry sand, I, I like for them to be dry, like I was saying, because I don't like the sand to stick to the pavers. And uh, also when it falls in the cracks, if it's wet, sometimes the, pay, uh, the sand doesn't sink down in the joints like it's supposed to. So that's why I like to do the sand, the dry sand process. But we're looking pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start applying the sand now. Today, I'm, I don't have the silica sand, so I'm gonna use the multi-purpose sand. I got it from Lowe's, it's this kind right here. <clears throat> it's a little bit more coarse than silica sand. Silica sand is a little finer. This one has, you can see it's like some bigger, not bigger, but got some bigger particles in it. But it's good to use still. All right, let's get it. Project is going on pretty well. This area right here is sanded all the way up to the halfway mark. It took about 15 minutes or so, about 15 minutes. And um, to the sand level, pretty good sand level. A little too high right now still, but we're gonna go ahead and um, blow those blow those off when we're done. Um, I got a new brush. Seems like it's working out way better than my other one. Uh, I got a soft bristle brush. Seems like uh, it, it can get in the joints a little bit better and uh, push the sand out of there when it's too heavy. The other brush I had is like a uh, half and half. It's like it's like soft in the middle and hard on the outside, I think, or vice versa. And uh, seems like I have to keep on clearing it out every time I brush. I got to clear it out the soft bristle brush doesn't grab the sand like that so I like it so let's go ahead and finish this side over there show you guys the difference so this is the side I sanded right here and this side right here is not sanded
Okay, we are finished sanding the pavers. Now the next following step is to blow the excess off. See all this sand like that right here? Sitting on top. All that gotta be blown off. But we're looking pretty good, man. Dried up, got some sun. Just blow this thing off. Now the fun part begins. Time to start sealing. I'm gonna start on this corner right here. I got my paint shield, so I won't get no seal on the house. Just a little progress. This side over here is sealed with the first coat, which is the flood coat. This side right here is not sealed. I did the border all the way around the house just to get out of the way so I don't have to hold the um, paint shield. It's a little tedious working outside with no cage. So you gotta keep on picking leaves up. Like I tell you guys, you don't wanna seal the leaves in. If they fall on top, like this one right there, that's fine. You just don't want to seal it over the top. Because when that leaf flies away or whatever we move, you're going to have a spot with no seal. I went around the border of the deck as well as this tub. And I stopped right here. You guys can see the spot. The spots are sealed. And this part that's not sealed right in the middle. I did the border all the way around the house to the end right here. Put some color on these things, man. All right, let's continue working. guys we got the first coat down the flood coat is down and um big difference already we're gonna do two coats though and i'm saying make it pop a little bit more um also i want to tell you guys about this um what i do when i um seal like keep a bucket of water in a rag just in case if i step off to get something from the van or you know if i gotta get something that's not on the pavers when you walk back in you don't want to track dirt back into the pavers that's a pain man i'm telling you so i always keep a uh bucket of water and i keep a rag on me i'm saying if i gotta wipe the house down or if i got seal on something that, that 
not supposed to get silo on it i can just wipe it off so just a little tip for you guys but you guys can see a difference let me see if i can walk around get out this sun see a big difference in the color of the pavers already take you guys around the other way this is a nice little deck they built back here it's nice Oh yeah, look at that. Looking pretty good, man. Nice color. We're gonna give this about a good 30 to 45 minutes, about, about 45 minutes probably, because it's shaded back here. That sun is getting up there, but it's gotta get around the trees. I can see some wet spots still. So you don't want to walk on it when it's like that. See the leaf right here? I can just remove this leaf and underneath it would be sealer. If it was on top and I remove that leaf, it will be dry. So yeah, we're gonna let this sit for a little bit, man. Come back and uh, do the second coat. Right now, it's probably like around 12.30, man. I got here like around nine. Started about nine. Yeah, 12.39, so. So in the meantime, we're gonna pack the van up with the stuff we're not gonna use anymore. Like the blower, the broom, just clean up in the meantime while these things are drying. So, be right back. If you guys are wondering, this is uh, the product I'm using, Deco Products. This is the Silicast, this is the website. The green bucket, just a color enhancer. Works really well. If you need it, hit me up. I got the link for you to get it next day in Florida or two days if you're anywhere else. Okay, we're back for the final coat. Uh, it's a little tacky, but it's fine. Um, I don't know if you can hear my feet. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna do the second coat now, which is just a light coat on top to make it pop. And also what that does is uh, if you miss any spots on your initial coat, you can uh, go ahead and hit those too, so. This is what they're looking like now. Got a bad glare because of the trees, I'm sorry. But looking pretty good. I got these leaves off. It's the most tedious part of the job besides the sanding. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and um, get the backpack and start doing the light coat and uh, we'll be done. finished with the second coat looking pretty good man see it's still drying over here that's the white spots I did go a little heavy on the second coat even though I didn't need to I was trying to use what I had in my sprayer but um everything came out great man the Sun is beaming behind the trees so I got a lot of shadows so I did take some before pictures in the morning when it was um, just before the Sun was up so what I'll do is I'll ask the customer to send me the same pictures when um, the sun settles so you guys can see the difference. Man, everything is looking good. Once it dries up all the way, it's gonna look like that over there. Good, good, good job right here. All right, you guys, man, I appreciate y'all checking the video out. Shout out to my boy, Chris, Clean Street. Invited me over for breakfast this morning. 
to kill time <laughs> while the pavers were drying up. So um, I appreciate that, my man, always, man. So uh, you guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything new. And if you got any questions, drop them in the comment section. All right, man, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace.